Okay, so in this video, we're going to solve this equation uh, with logarithms. So the thing to keep in mind here is that the natural log of x is being squared. So it's not this, right? This is not what this is. Because if it's like this, you can just put the 2 in the front using the power rule, and then and, and it's different. So in this case, the 2 is, you know, the whole thing is being squared. So the trick here, so solution, SOL means solution, is to factor. So you want to think of it as follows. So we need two terms that multiply to the natural log of x squared. So obviously that's the natural log of x, and then the natural log of x. Because check this out, if you do ln x times ln x, you get ln x squared. Now we just need two numbers that multiply to 16 and add to negative 10. Well, 2 times 8 is 16, and they have to add to a negative 10, so they have to both be negative. So negative 2, negative 8. Yep, that looks okay, let's check. Negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16. Negative 2 ln x plus a negative 8 ln x gives you a negative 10 ln x. Right? The inside and the outside add up to give you the middle term. We have a product that's equal to 0, so you can set each factor equal to 0. So ln x minus 2 is equal to 0, or ln x minus 8 is equal to 0. And then you just solve each of these guys. Here you add the 2, so ln x is equal to 2. And you're looking for x. You have the natural log, of, natural log of x equal to 2. So to get rid of the natural log of x, you can exponentiate both sides. So you put an e here, you put an e here. Well, e to the ln x, that's simply x. And here we're left with e squared. Boom, one down. Same thing here, you add the 8. Natural log of x is equal to 8. And again, to get rid of the natural log of x, you simply exponentiate both sides. So e to the ln x equals e to the 8. e to the ln x is x by the formula, and so you get x equals e to the 8. I hope that made sense.